Some would say I'm almost in Gleaner heaven. You got two beautiful S98s hanging out beside me. One in for its preventive maintenance 360 and the other just, just showed up. Pretty, pretty nice. We can see right down to the little details the Gleaner Centennial Edition. Then we see this beautiful Gleaner logo. 100 years proud. Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. First thing here, we find ourselves in the cab of this brand new Fent Row Gator. This thing is so nice. Wow. The smell of this leather in here, <laughs> it's truly incredible and I wish you guys could smell it. But anyways, we have something really, really cool to see. It's Friday at just after five in the evening and we got a cool calm mind that just showed up. So as we walk in the back shop, we can see this beautiful Gleaner S98 getting its winter work done on it. But in case you were unaware of what the previous styling looked like, this is it. This is the previous styling of the S98s before the 100 year anniversary. They look really good. That black, that red, and your signature silver. But we can also see, hopefully you can see that brand new Gleaner S98. This is the Centennial Edition. So it has a little bit of the throwback color scheme to the old Gleaner Combines and the old Alice Chalmers. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. This thing just, just arrived. I saw it from pictures on our social media. So if you wanna be the first to see all this cool new equipment coming in, make sure you go and follow Full Line Ag on Instagram, uh, follow us on Twitter, as well as like our Facebook page, because pretty much all the new cool stuff we get, we post on there first. But anyways, we also have a pretty cool Fent tractor, which maybe we'll get into later. We should dive into this though, and look at it up close and personal, and see what makes this Gleaner Combine unique to last year's model. So the first thing we're gonna check out, we have to actually climb up my handy little ladder so we can look at that decal right there. So this natural flow decal actually talks about the heart of the processor on this Gleaner Combine, talks about the natural flow of grain up through our feeder house, making its way to our rotor, not getting pinched, not changing direction, that same width of grain is coming up and going around our rotor. This natural flow design started getting developed about 55 years ago and Gleaner operators have been seeing the benefits of them for about the last 45. So I guess it's only natural that we have that natural flow decal on it. If we take a little bit closer of a look and swing our ladder out of the way, we can see that galvanized steel look right on these corners. This galvanized steel look is probably one of the most notable characteristics of a Gleaner Combine. It goes right back to the start, right back to when these Gleaners were first made and all you saw was that galvanized steel. When lots of people see, it reminds them of the great Silver Fleet and those Gleaner Combines that started their harvest in the summers in Texas and made their ways all the way up north 
to us here in Western Canada to help us with our crops in the fall. So that, it's pretty cool. It goes right back to the very beginning. The next cool little signature is actually the font of the S98. So this font actually goes back to the early days of Gleaner Combines, the A's, the F's, and the G's. This S98 font is actually in the same font that those ones were. It's a cool little touch that probably not many of you knew about. And now we're gonna talk about it. All of those orange accents all over this beautiful combine. This orange is actually very, very significant. It acknowledges the roots behind the Gleaner brand tied to Alice Chalmers, as well as the early days of Agco. I don't know about you, but I think that orange looks awesome. I like it a lot more than the red, sorry. Here we can see it, that red on this S98. I like it, don't get me wrong, but I like that. And I guess since we're here on this side, looking at this, I know exactly what they're gonna be doing. They're pulling that rotor out of that Gleaner Combine, and yes, you can actually do it in about 15 minutes once you get good. We can see one of the shields is off right here. They're taking off some bolts, and that is just gonna come right out. Yep, it's that easy, and yep, us Gleaner guys, we like to talk about it. Now let's quickly move this ladder. And now the most obvious, this beautiful, beautiful Gleaner logo. So this is the Heritage Gleaner logo. It reaches back all the way to the times of the Baldwin Gleaner. So this instantly recognizable logo actually brings us back to the initial reason for a self-propelled combine to help lower a farmer's input cost by creating dependable and innovative designs. And that's actually still a principle that Gleaner follows to this day. It's pretty cool. A combine company that's been building combines around the same principles and the same values for a hundred years and just combines. That's pretty cool. So this paint job, this new styling, it is not just a change. It's not just because, oh, it looks pretty good. I know it looks good, but there's actually a lot of brand value and a lot of things that you might not have known of why they styled it like this and how they could bring it back to its roots for this amazing accomplishment of 100 years. I'm extremely excited to see this great silver fleet of these brand new Centennial Edition Gleaner Combines out for another year, rolling through the prairie provinces and gobbling that crop up. It's gonna be a good year and I'm already excited for harvest. And then if we come into some of the offices, we have some Gleaner posters scattered throughout. We also have some Centennial Gleaner toys with all these beautiful stylings. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you think of this combine. Let me know what you think about the styling. And did you learn a thing or two in this video? Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Maybe we'll talk about this.